Okay, welcome. We are welcome to the Q and A for Tower Garden, and our intention is really to inspire healthy living around the world and hopefully inspire you to grow your own produce. There's so much going on in the world, and to be able to grow your own food and control where your food is coming from is awesome. So we're going to talk about that and introduce you to how, why and hear from some other growers sharing their experience. So what is Tower Garden? It is a patented vertical aeroponic growing system. It uses air and water to produce the fruits and vegetables and an all natural solution called the Tower Tonic. And it's designed for both human and plant nutrition. So there's no soil involved in this at all. It was created by Tim Blanks, and he was the chief horticulturist at Epcot Center. And he created this and we partnered with him and now we are able to share with more people the Tower Garden. And so throughout the world, over 80% of the land that is suitable for growing is, is already in use. So vertical farming really is the, the future. So now why the tower garden? It's easy, it's fun and healthy. Again, you're having your own farmer's market right inside your home or right outside your patio. It, when we say aeroponics, so again, it grows without soil and it waters itself. It grows stronger, faster, and the, the plants are healthier because of the increased O2. So it helps to prevent any uh, disease and pests from the, the root. And when I say it grows faster, it really grows fast. You grow, you eat off of it, and it grows right back. Some people, I want to make sure you all understand this. When you eat from it, days later, it, it's back. So it's, it's the gift that keeps on giving. High yield, less space. And the antioxidant is actually really high and it's, it's, it's full, full of nutrition because it's, it, you're clipping it fresh. Less time, I don't know if you all are gardeners, but it's far less time growing with the tower than traditional gardening. And as I said before, it's less land, less water, it's just less space and it grows faster. The towers can be seen everywhere now. They're, they're popping up everywhere. And now, since we're in an interesting time, more towers than ever were, were sold the last couple of months. I mean, so many people started growing. So there, you can find them in different airports, convention centers. If you are local to California, local to the Inland Empire, there is a whole tower garden, a lot of them in the city of Paris. So a lot of cities have them for the community garden. Schools use them as a teaching tool for the classrooms. Restaurants use them to supply produce for their patrons. It's a big deal and it's growing and growing by leaps and bounds. For educators, there is a curriculum that can be used with the tower pre-K through eighth grade. Lots of resources for the, the growing community. You can grow just about anything on the tower except root vegetables, root being carrots and onions, but pretty much everything, all your herbs, your spices, things that you like, whatever it is, pretty much can grow it on the tower. There's some more pictures of towers. And again, we're gonna see some live towers from our, some of our partners here, but uh, former president looking at the towers grocery stores using the produce, people having their own greenhouses. And you can grow the tower indoors or outdoors, depending on where you live, and what your desire is for growing. The biggest thing people want to know is, is it easy? How much does it cost? And the tower is affordable and it pretty much pays for itself in a short amount of time. And it's, there is a, a year warranty on parts and a 90 day money back guarantee on the tower. I mean, if you, for whatever reason, 
you can return it. We, we know that you shouldn't because you need to grow, but you could within 90 days if there was anything um, that didn't work out for you. So I mentioned there are two different types or that you can grow inside or you can grow outside. And so the tower home is the picture on the left and that's the one that grows inside. And in order to grow inside, you need grow light. So they are LED lights that mimic the sun or it's necessary in order for the plants to grow. The one inside is smaller, designed to fit in the corner, you know, not to be too obtrusive in your home. And then the one outside is called Tower Garden Flex. It is bigger by diameter and the outside tower can grow heavier produce. So the inside, if you're growing tomatoes, you want to grow the smaller tomatoes, but the flex that goes outside, you can grow the viney tomatoes because you have more space and it's, it has a heavier base. So it depends on if you're an apartment or what your space is like, which one you choose. The tower garden home can be used outside without the lights. So if a person wanted a smaller tower, they can take the home outside just without the lights. The tower garden home has more technology, uh, different timers and, and things that tell you indicators and tells you how to put the water in. It has a little bit more bells and whistles than the tower flex does. Both of them come with everything that you need to start growing, plants included. And the question people have is, well, what kind of plants they come? From my understanding, it depends on what region you're in, but the plants that you get are best grown at that point uh, where you are. But I'll give an example in general. You're going to get different kinds of lettuces. A lot of people I see getting tomatoes, eggplants, cucumbers, basil, bok choy. You can also uh, get your own. We have suppliers of the seeds that will give you, but people say, well, can I go get my own seeds? You can. Whatever seeds you get, if they're GMO or whatever you get, that's what's going to yield out of your tower. And so we know that the seeds and the vendors that we use are non-GMO and the top quality seeds, but you're not mandated to get the seeds through Tower Garden. But when you get the Tower Garden, everything you need is there. The timers, the seeds, all of the equipment, it's self-contained so that you can start growing right away. So let's talk about the, the, the investment. The Tower Flex, the one outside, and it is approximately $56.67 a month, over 12 months, and that shipping is included in there. So that, that's your payment, 12 months, and then you're, it's paid for, and there you go. I've had my tower for four years. I paid for it for the first year, and, and it's mine, and it's all good. The, um, there's 20 ports that you can grow from. You can grow 20 of all of the same. You can grow, you know, whatever you want. There's 20 ports. You're gonna see a tower. Elizabeth is gonna show us her tower that's tall. And I wanna, because last time she showed us and it was tall and people thought that it was that tall. She's added to it to make it tall. So you'll see her maybe climb it up on something because you can extend it past the 20 ports if you want but they grow 20 full-size plants in your tower. The tower home is approximately $80. I don't have the shipping included in that, so it'll be a little bit more with the shipping in there. And if you're getting the tower home without lights, then it's less. And then the, the, the question is, why without lights? So there's a couple of things. Right now, well, if you're wanting to use the tower home outside, you don't need the lights. So if you just want the smaller unit, you can do that. The other thing is right now, the lights are on back order. So if you're ordering it, all you're going to be charged for is the tower home without the lights included. And when the lights come in, then the lights will be added to your payment. We're so excited, as we said, because so many people started growing that, um, a lot of the towers went on back order uh, for a while because of that. And I say this to you, if you're thinking of growing, don't wait. Because there was people last month 
that wanted to put in their order and were, were, were not able to. So get your order in, even if it has to be on back order for a little bit, just get it in so that you are in line to get the tower. The tower home grows greens and herbs. So they have micro greens. And, and I'm gonna, when Elizabeth talks, I'm gonna have her just explain that about the micro greens. But you can grow 32 plants on the tower home. So again, Elizabeth, we're gonna ask you some questions about tower home and because she has both. And I think, I think that's actually the end of the, the, the presentation for that. So we're gonna go over to some of our presenters and then we'll open it up for questions um, that you all may have. So I'm gonna stop this. Elizabeth, can you, can you take us to your tower home? Or where are you? Yes, I would love to. I am sitting on my sofa okay. in our family room. I just wanted to start like this so I can show, and now I'm go going to uh, reverse the camera. So that's my family room, and I am sitting on the sofa next to our tower garden home. Got okay, it. so this is the one that's in our home. It's in this little corner before we go outside. It's only 24 inches on the base, and it has wheels on it. And it is um, growing lettuces and kale and spinach, and I have marigolds on there and cilantro and mint. And the um, there are 20 of the larger ports. And then I'm going to stand up and show you. These are this is the little extension on the um, flex or no, Tower Garden Home, that has all the smaller ones for growing herbs. And that's where the parsley and cilantro, and um, I'm going a little wild with my basil because I love to make pesto. So I've got some pesto uh, basil starters. I'll just show you on each side. And there's the timer for the lice that comes with the unit. Um, if you don't want to grow it inside, of course, you don't need the lice. But um, as you can see, some of the babies and the, they grow towards the lights. It's fascinating to me. I have outside, I'll show you uh, a lettuce that I just pulled that had finished, but it turned to go towards the lights. And the basil, I mean, I am just, it, it grows so fast. You know, it just grows so fast. So this is the uh, indoor one. And like I said, it has the wheels on it and, um, there's where we add the water, and this is the feature that shows you how much water you have and how um, soon you might need to add your water um, to your unit along with your nutrients. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring you outside with me out onto the backyard. This is the one that I saved. It's um, dried up a little bit. I don't know if you could see it or not, but it turned itself to go towards the lights inside. And what lettuce does, like Robin was explaining, is it will just keep making. This is the outside tower. Oh, well, I guess I should start here. These are seedlings. And like Robin said, when you get your unit, it comes with seeds and rock wool, everything you need to start your own little seedlings. And then this is our outdoor tower. And the, <laughs> it is taller than most. And it is in its glory. Uh, I did not, <laughs> I did not harvest yet because I wanted to wait until we did this today. But you can see I have celery to make more celery pesto that just, it just keeps giving. Uh, fennel, tomatoes to sucker. I've got green beans growing mm -hmm. that are really, really happy. Wow. And the I harvested arugula because I'm a I love arugula, kale, different kinds of kale, and uh, bunching onions, romaine. This is my husband's favorite. And the way you harvest, I'm just going to show you. You take the outer leaves, and honestly, that color green is so much deeper than what you see in the grocery because it's right off of that plant, and then it keeps making inside the plant and it keeps going. And um, so that's why Robin was explaining to you that it just keeps giving to you. I've got whole heads of lettuce that I need to harvest today as well. As um, it, 
it just grows really, really fast. It that, really that's, grows. That's amazing. I know that um, we're going to have some questions for you. There's a couple of other presenters. So I'm going to have them share, and then we're going to come back for a Q&A. Because I, I, I was like, oh, my gosh, I have questions, but I forgot this isn't about me, so I can't ask, you know, I don't want to ask all the questions. So I'm going to actually come back to, we're going to come back to you, Elizabeth, because they're Great. questions. And so we're going to have uh, Dr. Bernetta and then Cece. Cece uh, has babies, <laughs> and she's going to share with us. Um, and the question, so we're, we're, Valerie has a question. Um, she wants to know, when you harvest, do you pull the entire head out? She said. Oh. Great question. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I do. Like I'll harvest, um, like I could harvest this whole head of romaine right here. I could, I could harvest it and leave about an inch and it will remake. Remake. It will remake. So yeah. mm, Yeah. I mean, it's amazing. You come out every three days and you're like, it, it, it's astounding how fast it grows. That's a great question. So beautiful. So we're going to go to Bernetta. And we're going to go to Cece, and then we're going to come back for rounds of questions. So, um, yeah, so exciting. I am going out today to replant, so I'm super excited. Dr. Bernetta, show us, show us your stuff. You have peppers. I do. Um, so I'm super excited. So I'm standing here by my back door, and oh, dear. I, let me see. Now, how do I flip the screen? Oh, up the, there we go. Okay. So there's the tower. Home, the one inside. I'll turn around so that you can see this is there's my kitchen. And I just walk over here and pull off stuff. <laughs> like Elizabeth. I love it, Elizabeth. And um, so we've got tomatoes going here. My husband has a charge over the tower, so I don't get to pick where anything goes. But here's tomatoes. They're look at the babies, they're so cute, you guys. Oh, they're coming along. And this, I have cucumbers on the other side of this. I don't want to turn it, but the, the Asian, the baby cucumbers. So I'm super excited about that. And um, like Elizabeth said, so then I'm going to go out my back door now. And don't mind by sub Siberian Husky. He's going to come bounding out at some point. But there's, uh, here's my there's my doggy. Um, here's my outdoor tower. And this is where I just. Renetta. Um, Renetta. I thought about my um, uh, kill on the oh. others and part. Yes. It's okay. cutting out your, the, your line. Yeah, the signal. The signal's cutting out. Okay, I'll go back. Can you now. can you show it to us? The sound is cutting out. Yeah, can you show it to us now? <laughs> yes. Yeah, take us to it. We can see it even if we can't hear you. We can see it growing. Awesome, awesome. Okay. Now, how? Well, you know what? I'm not going to ask any questions. We're going to wait to the end to to do that. Thank you so much. Was there anything else you wanted to show us? Uh, no, no, that that was it. <laughs> I just, well, you know, you guys may have seen my video. I just harvested a whole um, stock of, you know, the whole thing of celery off of it. And it's already grown back, like Elizabeth said. I just took it off on Tuesday. It's like more out there. My husband's like, oh my God, you got to come get some more off of it or else. <laughs> so it's wonderful. Uh, there, there was a question that popped in. So it's, it's, she, yes, the outside tower looked really short because that's the way that it comes. So the outside tower is short. Elizabeth made her, she added extensions onto it. So you can buy extenders to make it taller. If you, How many plants do you grow out of this one now with the tall, tall one? Okay. <laughs> um, I added... You can see one, two, three, four, five. So it comes to here. That would have been it. I added on this one, ex you know, ex extension of ten, four, eight ports, and then on top of that, we have the microgreen extension. And I will say to you, I still have the same pump. I have not had to change pumps. Wow. And um, I did buy a backup pump for when this one does stop because this is now 
Uh, next month, it'll be a three-year-old tower. But initially, I wanted more to grow more. And so that's why I got the extension. And then I got the idea, oh, the microgreens, that's, an, uh, that's a great idea. I think I want to do that. And rather than get another tower, I just kept going taller before our company came out with the home version. Got it. Got it. And so how many plants can you grow on that big top? Actually, nope. Let me stop. Let me not ask questions. Let me, we're going to go to CC. We're going to yeah, let's go to CC. Let's go, go to CC. So CC um, just started growing. So CC, tell us when and show us if you have your, let me unmute you. Okay. Are you there? Yes. Yes. Okay. So do you have them with you or no? No, I'm at the office. Okay. Well, you can at least tell us your experience. But you I have my pictures. Okay. How, I mean, so the question is, when did you start growing? And just tell us the process of what you did to actually get them growing. Well, when I first, hi, so thank you, uh, Robin. I'm, I'm super excited about growing this. I've never, ever, ever, ever have grown anything in my life. When I see Elizabeth, I'm going, oh my God, I want to be there already, you know. Uh, but what when I saw it, I, I sent Robin a, a message. I'm going, oh my God, this is complicated. <laughs> she did. But once I took a deep breath and I read the instructions. And so this is what I, I've been growing, I think, three weeks. Three and weeks. so this is the one on the left side. I don't know if it is to your right. It's my, I, a week later, and this is like right now. I took a picture this morning. So I think Robin was telling me that I'm probably ready to go on the tower, right? Yeah. Yeah, they, about, yeah, they, they seem to be about two, two and a half inches tall. Yeah. So uh, some of them didn't grow like like the, um, what were you saying that the Rockwell? pesto, the pesto, oh, what is pesto. This? No, what is it called that 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 you use, Elizabeth? You use basil. 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 My basil didn't come up, but anyway, I'm just super excited that I'm gonna get to put them in the tower and then yeah. see. <coughs> excuse me. See and everything then that you like, guys are doing, huh? They just grow like mad. Once you put them in the tower, you're gonna need to eat the stuff because it oh, just. Oh, I can't grows. wait! I can't wait! I want to see mine like that. Uh, but I, I bought the home one because right. I, I have a center and I'm going to bring mine to the center so <laughs> I could bless me and I can bless my clients with the knowledge and also with some food. What I, so what I, I am excited. Yeah. And so what I love about with Cece is true story. She sent me a text and she's like, I, that was, cause she was nervous and she's like, this is all because she never grew before. And I said, you'll be fine. Ever. And then. I didn't hear from her for a couple of days and I thought, oh my gosh, what happened? Is she okay? And then she shows me this picture of the, the grow and I'm like, it started growing like that quick. One I didn't even week later. One week later. I'm like, what? And then I was I was kind of laughing because I'm like, see, 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 you're doing it. And I'm like, are you so proud? Because at first, when you're first doing it, it depends on who you are, but it might be intimidating. I never grew anything either. So I actually let it sit in a box for a month because I was just scared. <laughs> <laughs> I was super, super scared. So what I want to do now is for those of you who have questions, you can type them in and we can answer them that way for you, or you can unmute and we can answer them that way for you. So we want to make sure that you have, I have, I have a question. Yeah, how, long does, how long does it take once you put them on the, on the tower to start really going and, and move, growing faster or bigger? I'll yeah. answer that. By, by week three, you're going to be eating off of it. After the indoor I put them tower, on the tower? You have the indoor tower? Yes. With the lights? Yes. It actually goes. Oh, I have no lights. You have no lights. You have the you're indoor out, tower. Her tower's outside, though, right now. It's outside. I see. Okay. Well, I, I personally, usually, within the three-week to four-week mark, you're, you're harvesting, especially like the lettuces and so forth, right? Three-week mark. I mean, the difference between week two to week three and then week three to week four. Okay. And I can post later what, what happens. It just, all of a sudden, you're just, you need to be harvesting it like um, the doctor said. You need to start picking it because it's going to, uh, it really takes off between, okay. I'd say, week three and week four. Okay. 
What um, Bernetta said something that's really interesting, and I'm glad she said it. She says, when you're not growing out of every port, it helps to close the port with foil or close it. So if you have 20 ports and you're only going to grow out of 10, and I would say this to you because I learned I cannot eat out of 20 ports. Like, that's a lot of produce. If you have a larger family, then that's fine. But if it's just a few of you, then grow out of half of the ports, but cover the rest of them up she said with foil, or there's some other ways to cover them, but do you want to cover them? What happens if you don't cover them, Bernetta, you know? Well, we just found that um, the water would- uh, Evaporation, uh, yeah. Evaporate much more quickly. So mm -hmm. we, um, we, um, okay. we needed to cover them so that to keep the other ones growing. And we can't use all the ports on our tower because we're terrible. <laughs> So it's it's a, a lot. It's a lot. It's, um, there's a, a question that says, how many ports are on the basic tower? So the basic tower has 20 ports. So it comes, again, not as tall as, as Elizabeth. So she doubled hers. Um, it's 20 ports. And so my tower, um, I wish I could show y'all pictures because I have it. It's bare. I'm restarting. There's 20, 20 ports on the basic one. Um, here's a question that people have had or asked me along the way how often do you need to buy nutrients? How much does it cost and how long does the nutrients last? And can you buy the nutrients from an outside party vis-a-vis uh, -vis Amazon? So let me say this, the tower has tower tonic that is patented special for the tower garden, right? So when you get your tower, the tonic is there. You'll run out of that maybe three, four months and then you buy um, a larger gallons of tower tonic, which will last about a year, mine did, right? And it's about $60, the, the, the tonic. You don't need it right away, but let's say you're, after you run out of the first round, then about $60 a year. If you go and buy the tower tonic from Amazon or some other tower, we tried that and they don't grow right if you don't use the tower tonics uh, from Tower Garden. You can get tower the tonic, the nutrient from somewhere else, but we know from experience it doesn't do right. Um, no, the basic does not come with many ports if it's the, oh, no, the basic does not, I'm just reading. No, the basic does not come with many ports if it's the flex. The home has some of each of the ports. I'm not sure what that says. I was oh, just okay. answering, I was answering the question above. Oh, got it, got it, got it. And so the home one, so the tower outside has 20, the tower inside has 32, but part of those are the micro microgreens for like the um, herbs and things. Valerie, you had a question? Yes, hi. Hi. I'm, a, I'm about a week behind Cece's uh, mm -hmm. garden. So I'm, they're sprouting, they're getting pretty big. A question I did have though, it's possibly probably by the end of, so next Wednesday will be two, three weeks complete. Um, on the little cubes that the little inserts that you put the, the seeds in, Rock wool. Do those go direct because I haven't further read the instructions. I just read up to the installation to planting the little seeds. Do those little seeds go, the little ports go inside? Um, they those go inside. Basket? Yes. Yeah, you do. So you have, but you have the, and, and correct me if anybody if I'm wrong, the little neti pot, net pots, right? The black, black. Pods. No, my, yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yeah. I have those. Yes, yeah. So, you so the little the, brown little pod goes inside of that. The uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. And just for y'all that are local to me, we have a lot of rock wool. So if you ever run out of rock wool, like we have a lot, so you can just let me know and I'll give it to you because we have a lot. Like for real, I should okay. tell you how we got it, but I don't want to take up too much time about that story. <laughs> um, <laughs> it is a good story. Any other <laughs> any other question? You have questions? Uh, and I don't know how to lower. Do you have you have a question, Cece? Yeah. Where do you, do you just go on the website to order more seeds? Like I want to plant uh, celery and cucumbers, and I didn't get any of that in my. So I just want to order more of those. Oh, that's good. They don't come when it's all that variety, like what you saw in my tower, even. And right. um, Robin will post. Um, where you can, there's a couple of places that you can get seedlings from 
that would be for things that don't come with your initial growing, right? Like celery and um, bok choy and yeah, things like I that. Want some of that. Mm -hmm. where, where do you get yours, Elizabeth? Where I personally get, get mine from sbtg.com. Uh, can, can you type it into the chat? Oh, I will. Okay, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. and then Brunetta, can you type in where you've gotten yours? In the chat where you've gotten your your seeds and seedlings from okay yes sure okay so they're gonna sh they're gonna type it in and then debbie are debbie are you what state are you in are you in california i'm in um florida and then i have one in but i started growing in illinois first inside so i have one inside and i have one outside now oh. you are in florida but you started in illinois tell us anything because a lot of us are in California, just about your experience, different climates. What, how was well, the, my tower in Illinois, I keep inside year round. I don't want it outside because I don't want to deal with bugs. And I suggest that if you are going to buy seedlings that, um, that are already started, started already, you need to clean them before you bring them inside because some of them have bugs on them and you don't want them to be inside your house and then they'll infest the whole tower. So just make sure that if you are buying seedlings that you clean them really, really well under cool water and just make sure that they're clean and then you put them in the, in the tower. So um, we, um, LaShawn just typed in that she lives in Illinois. So, um, cause again, I live in California, so I don't know anything about any other climate, but the one we're in. So it sounds like, and then LaShawn, if you have any questions specifically, you type it in and I'll, I'll, I'll uh, ask Debbie, but you, how long were you growing in Illinois before you moved to Florida? Oh, cl clean the seedlings with what was her question? Um, water, right? And I also, I never, I gotten seedlings once from um, an outside source. Now, I, I just don't like to do it if it's, I'm going to have it inside. I've done all mine from seed. I get organic seeds from like Home Depot or any yeah. place like that. So um, that's, or I'll go to like a lawn and garden place and they have seedlings, seeds there. And I just do it from seeds. That's so, really good advice. It is. So, so, um, sh oh, somebody, there's a couple people in Illinois here, uh, Carbondale, Illinois. And then the question was when you clean your seedlings, you clean it with what? The seedlings, you, you could just clean it with water underneath that, like really soft. Um, some people, if there, if there are bugs on it, they use a little mild soap or they'll use some, um, some like neem oil and stuff. Oil. But, um, I, one time I got bugs because I got seedlings, so I've never done it again. And I just like to do it from seeds. Actually. I like to see it grow from like, the yeah. flower. so and, and, I don't know, and, it, and it's still only probably like you said, CC, it was two weeks. I mean, two weeks, you could put it in a, a week and a half. I'm, I'm, I'm already putting in tower. And sometimes I just put my seeds straight into the tower. So oh. I don't even have them sprout. I just put them in. I right. agree straight into the rock wool. Yeah. And then into the tower and then they're getting the nutrients. And I think I had to learn that too, that the seedlings, um, they can come with an, and, and you can get them and not see that it's going to have aphids or something like that. And it can be a problem. Right. And that is not fun. Cause then you need things like ladybugs in your house <laughs> or, uh, or the other trick I've learned too on the outside for the tower, the only thing I, I do is I sprinkle the top of the tower and then around the bottom on the leaves with cinnamon. And it keeps all butterflies away. Cinnamon, Cause, okay. Because they smell that and they stay away. It will burn their intestines and then you won't get the little, you know, you won't get little caterpillars or something on your tower if you just cinnamon. I mean, you know, because that I, I'm not a neem oil person. I know a lot of people swear by it, but I don't want to have, I don't want to have to rinse. I like to eat right off my tower is what I'm trying <laughs> to say. That's perfect. I want to clarify for those who are new or don't know what, so seeds versus seedlings. So when you, when you're starting from a seed, right, it's the little seeds that come in a packet. And when they, the seeds sprout and they grow, they become seedlings. So oh, like mine right now. Yeah, so CC has seedlings. That's a tongue twister. CC has seedlings. So you, as a new grower, when you get your tower, you're provided with the seeds, and then you grow the seedlings, and then that's what you put in the tower. Some people are saying they put their seeds straight in there. Or you can buy 
seedlings already sprouted mm -hmm. and put them in your tower. And so Debbie, which I love what she said, is she just like starting from the seed. And I started from a seed and then I got lazy and I wanted to cut down that three week time and now I started doing seedlings and now I'm back to doing seeds. Um, so, and what, what, what it was great with Debbie said is when you do the seeds, right, you're not, you're, you know what you have, you don't have any extra bugs and all of that stuff. So do it that way. Any other questions before I, cause I know people ask about bugs. So let me, let me say about bugs. Before it we get into that, let me give somebody an encouragement too. Every seed, like even when you put them in the rock wall and you put them in your tower, every seed doesn't always sprout. That's not your fault, you know? So don't think, oh, what am I doing wrong? Sometimes I put in more seeds, you know what I mean? So. Okay. Also, a lot of seeds come, come later too, some seeds. So oh. like I had some that all of a sudden, like four weeks later, cause I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna keep this in there. Cause I know it's in there. And all of a sudden they'll sprout. And I'm like, okay, I don't know what happened, but just know that, you know, just give it a little bit more time, a little bit more love. And maybe they'll come, maybe they won't, but maybe they will. Um, Valerie, did you have another question? Cause I don't yeah, so oh, can you hear me? Kind of. Okay, I'm, I'm driving. Um, so because, um, my ceilings, like I planted cucumbers. Um, they're like about, gosh, those things are like every time I turn around, they're like growing bigger and bigger. Can I take those from the pot and put them in even though the whole tray is not ready yet? I, I don't think like the basil's still real tiny and so is like some of my mm. tomatoes. Oh yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah. So just transplant those pieces now into the tower. Sure. Okay. Awesome, awesome. And Tower Garden, um, I just want to add the Tower Garden website has Tower Garden approved seedling sources. So if you really want to order seedlings, they can be shipped to you. It's not very expensive at all. And they have a whole list on the Tower Garden website. So um, they, of course, it's only what's in season at the time, but you can go through there and I think for two bucks a seedling or sometimes less, you can pick out what you want and have it sent to you. And the, these are all growers that are um, approved or connected with um, Juice Club and Tower Garden. Um, there's another ham that's raised, but I don't know whose ham. So um, if you have a question and you wanna just uh, say it, then, uh, okay. Or you can type it. Oh, that was valid. Uh, Valerie. 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 So, when you first buy your tower, again, it comes everything that you need. And then how you buy the tower is whoever invited you here, that will be your representative to get the tower for you. And when you buy the tower, there's so many resources will get you connected to, there's Facebook groups, there's just a lot of resources to support you. And then also there, um, there's a recipe book, a cookbook, Tower to Table. So when you get your tower and have, make sure your, your rep gives you this, this wonderful Tower to Table recipe book so that you have that. And when you're connected, again, you're a part of the community. We always will support you or get your questions answered or point you in the right direction. Um, to to do that the website is showing the domain is for sale and not showing the website so you have to get the tower through us um, so you wouldn't just go on the website um, so whoever invited you here if it were me or whomever invited you here that's how you would order the tower um, what we don't want you to do is just try to go to the website and order it because we want to go ahead and make sure that you get what you need and how you need it and then we're there to support you if you just go to the website, um, that's not a good thing and you'll just be out there in the world. So we wanna make sure that we, we support you on that. Um, I'm looking at the questions. I also suggest grow clips. Um, Debbie, where are you? Do you wanna talk about that? Yeah, sure. go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, so in, in, when you get your tower, you'll get these black net pots, they call them, and you put the, the, your, your whopper all inside them and then it clips into the actual tower. But if you go underneath the, um, the accessory um, tab, 
there's grow clips, they call them. And what these things are, they kind of look like a J and you just stick the little, um, there's a little point on it and you stick the rock ball right in the middle of it and then you just clip it on the side of the, the, the edge of the, I guess the port. And what it does is you just take your finger and you take it in and out and you can move them all around. Cause like for me, I grow certain things and then all of a sudden I find out that my bok choy is so big and it's covering other plants that I just move my bok choy and I'll put it to another spot in my tower. And I, I like to move my plants around just so that they're good in the sun or whatever, or, or if they're, they are getting covered from another plant. So these grow clips are a lifesaver because the neti pot, the, the black um, plastic things that you get with the tower actually snap in. So when you want to move them, you have to unsnap them and get your fingers in there and kind of take them out. And Elizabeth is showing you the grow clip right now. Oh, okay. And it is just so easy and so simple. And it's really, they, you get like 30 of them for 20 bucks. And I always recommend that anybody who is getting a tower, I always say that the things that you want, you're gonna want grow clips and don't use the black things at all. The black netty pot things. I don't, are they netty pots? I don't even know. They're uh, not netty pots. Called, they're thinking, net pots are, yeah, I, I, use, I, I still use those. I don't have the grow right. clips. So, Yep, and then Elizabeth is showing you those too. They work and they're fine. It's just so much, the, the, the clips are just so much easier, I think. I also suggest that if you're, you're new to Tower Garden and you're, you're ordering that you order an uh, extra solution, A and B solution, the plant solution, because although that you're, they, they do send you some, you're gonna need some without throughout the, the year of growing. So I, but I've, had, I've, I've only ordered, I've had my tower up for two and a half years now, maybe three. And I've only went through one big jar of each. You know what I mean? So they'll yeah. send you a little jar of each of the nutrients. But I always say to people, while you're on their ordering, get an extra set of solution, get the grow clips too. So that's oh, just my question. Um, the CV, CVTG.com, Elizabeth, they said that website, um, oh, doesn't work. That one. She said it doesn't. It doesn't go. You know what? I'm going to have to, because uh, I'm not real techie. So I will post it to Robin's page, to the exact thing, because I tried to pull it up on my phone right now. Um, but it's, it's. That's it's, just for seeds though, right? Actually, it's seedlings. Seedlings. Okay. Yeah. But I, I'll post that for, okay, for everybody. Got it, got it. So, so to clarify, and then CCI, I see you, so I'll come to you. Um, the CVTG, I guess that, that that website is supposed to, for just to buy seeds later, but I, I guess it's not working. To buy the actual tower, that website, um, thank you, um, LaShawn, for that, because I, was, I wasn't clear. But to buy the actual tower, which is what you need first, the tower comes with seeds already. Um, that website, to buy tower, needs to come from um, whoever invited you here. They'll send you that website. And then any resources to buy seeds in the future, we'll make sure you get that too. Um, Cece, you had a question? Oh, I'm muted. Did I mute yeah. you? Oh, Elizabeth was saying about the cinnamon. Where do you put the cinnamon? Forgive me, there's a plane going over, so <laughs> it's, it's not so good. But um, I'm just going to show you on here. Yeah. See, that's, that was cinnamon I had done right there. Uh. And it just got a little wet. But they, it's the smell that keeps them away from your tower. So you just put I, it at the bottom of the- of I just the, put it on the bottom and then I'll also show you, I probably sprinkled some, yeah, on the on the leaves of the um, tomato plants. Mm, okay. Oh, keep it away. Just, mm -hmm, just to keep it away. So the smell is there. And oh. if you get, I don't, you know, different places that you live, uh, I'm getting up on my step stool to take you to the top which I have to clean, but that is where I also put it, right oh, up there on the top. Oh, okay. okay. Because they smell it and they take off. They have, they want nothing to do with that. Oh, okay. They, they want somewhere, and this is the time of year, at least here anyway, where we're getting the um, white cabbage butterflies, and you definitely don't want them planting their seeds on your tower. Okay. Okay, thank you. And that's good, because I used to have caterpillars and so had I had known. Um, now we know. Like, yeah, now we know. I just said, because I had so much kale, I'm like, okay, y'all eat this side and I'll eat this side. And we just, we just lived our lives together, the caterpillars and I. 
<laughs> Somebody said, ew. <laughs> <I'm> like, yeah, <laughs> eel too. But it's true. I mean, this is the thing. It, it, it's produce and it's nature. And so bugs try to, they, they want to eat too. And there's ways through cinnamon or through spraying them with water or soap, not pesticides, that, that you can eliminate them. Any other questions before we, we I have another question. Absolutely. How often how often do you do this tower kind of get togethers? Oh we're doing them every month. It's so much oh, fun to get together and get all this, you know, and have your yeah, friends be able to get their questions answered and share what our knowledge is. And uh, Robin and I are partnering to help people help people see that it's not overwhelming. Yeah. How do you have a certain Saturday of the month or what what day so I yes. know when to promote it? Yeah, so it's the second what Saturday is this? This is the first, right? Okay, that's the Saturday No, are you sure? No, it's not. It's the second Saturday. Second? Okay. Yeah, the second yeah, Saturday. Second. So we'll, okay. We're gonna do it the second Saturday every month. Um at, noon. at well, for now, yes, it's noon. When the world comes back open again, we may change <laughs> the time. We don't know. Um we don't know, but right now it's noon because people are at home. Um, I'm reading okay. that besides cleaning the seeds first, any other issues for having an indoor tower in Illinois? So this is an Illinois question, which is which is so great that Debbie's here um, from Illinois. <laughs> so Debbie, you want to take that question? Any other sure. challenges or anything that, to say about having a tower inside in Illinois? No, I had it in my dining room for two years straight. Um, I took it down every, probably like once, a year probably to clean it and to just get it all you know um i guess fresh but i would just you know you eat off of it for so long that um you know the only thing that i would suggest is that when you see that maybe you know when you've been eating off of it for a month or two start some more seedlings and then that way when you want to switch it out because it'll start to bolt they call it and that is, is that it'll start to grow a lot, a stalk in the middle and some flowers. That means that the that it's pretty much done and that the, the flavor will start to change. So what mm -hmm. I do is I just take that, that out and I put a new seedling in and then it starts growing again. And so I, it's kind of stages like that. You just answered a huge question for me. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. why do I have flowers? I have never planted flowers and I have flowers. Thank you, Debbie. Thank yeah. you. So oh, like, you girls are flowers. funny. Well, yeah, if you take a look new. right now, look, I have on my arugula, it has bolted, as they say. Wow. Those are, the, those are the flowers from the arugula. And I will tell you, because I love arugula so much, I eat that too. It's extra peppery once it gets like that on wow. arugula. On wow. other ones, and you can see what's growing today so tall up there, and that's why I got to go get it, is a lettuce, and it's about ready to bolt. And like she said, when it bolts, when you get that flower, it change, it gets bitter. So you want to harvest you. before it bolts and gets bitter. That's oh. great. I literally, I'm like, it just grew flowers. I don't know why, <laughs> but I'm like, it's pretty. Another thing I want to say is that um, when you are growing, um, that they, like a lot of people when they're starting, they think, oh, I have to harvest. So they harvest the whole plant. Do not harvest the whole plant. Just do the bigger leaves or the ones that look really good. You know, just, just do the outer ones and let that thing grow for months. I mean, you can have a lettuce growing for three months and you're just picking off the sides of it and just doing what you need. But I had one person that thought that harvest meant cut down the whole thing. So they yeah, yeah. cut down the whole thing. And I was like, oh no. You know? There's a Definitely question. good point. And even with the celery, you, you don't have to wait until it gets like this and harvest the whole thing. You can just harvest one piece at a time and eat it. So another question says, um, do I need to use foil for an indoor tower? So let's like, the oh, okay, Debbie. So I've, never, I've never covered mine in my house, but the ports that were open. Um, but they do have these round like, uh, they're kind of rubbery things that you could put in but you i've never done that but i could see how it, if you had a dry house that it would evaporate a little bit more but in the yeah. winter in the winter time it's great because it's kind of like giving you a little bit of humidity in the air and yeah. again she lives in illinois it might be different it's right. a whole environment so that's why but which is like i said it's interesting because 
um, LaShawn is from Illinois asking, and good thing, because I couldn't have answered Illinois questions. <laughs> me too, me too, I'm a Chicago girl. Yeah, okay, so I only can answer a Southern California question. Um, they that for us here in Southern California, that uh, with uh, extra open ports, we would lose more, you know, it would evaporate sooner, so. Um, Again, uh, there is a Facebook, a Tower Garden Facebook group. Um, it, I do too. They are invaluable. Like every question you can imagine, there's so many people on there, you're going to get an answer for what you need. And Debbie, I'm making a request. Would you do a quick little video on how to use those clips? My husband needs to see that because um, he's committed to those pots, but when we need to move the plants around, it's so annoying. Yeah, so, actually, I just posted it today, how I did it one-handed, because I was trying to do the camera and the netty, and the clips, and I was like, oh, gosh, but I could do it one-handed, so it's so easy. So I, I'll share that actual video that I shared on my personal page today on Robin's page. So yes it's no? we're, how about this? We're Facebook friends, but can y'all get to be Facebook friends? Then y'all don't need me. I mean, not that I'm, you don't need me, but can y'all connect and chat and figure out who you each are so that you all can be friends? That's a um, smart idea. That's yeah, a smart friend, idea. And then who? I'll just show oh, you okay. real quick because I've got uh -huh. the clip right there. Okay, oh. so here's one of my little guys, right, with the rock mm -hmm. wool and the seeds, and you can't see, but it's starting to come out. So it's green beans. But I would just place it right on on there on the peg, and then you just clip that part into the port. Hmm. Or you can clip it into the port and then you just put the baby in there. Mm -hmm. Great, great, great information. Um, another thing I want to say before we get off roots, you've got to clip your root. And I know this because I did not clip my root. Now, again, I was a person that never grew anything. So I, I only learned by doing stuff and not doing it right. So your roots will grow. And what I thought up until recently is you just, open open the bottom and try to clip them from the bottom. No, you need to take the plant and clip the roots. Anybody want to talk about clipping the roots? Debbie, do you have a, any insight about clipping roots? Sure, I just did a video on that too, but I haven't posted it yet. Um, okay. what, what I do is the bottom ones um, on the bottom of the tower, those will go into the water and you don't want the roots into the water because then they're taking all the nutrients and they're getting too much water. So what I do is I grab, put my hand in there and I grab, just feel around and kind of yank those out. And that's how I do that. But because you have the grow clips, you could just take it out. And I did this with my bok choy is that um, I took it out, clipped it and kind of, sometimes I just kind of rip it apart and then I put it back in. It's the reason why you want to do that is because each of those layers have holes. And if you have too many roots, the water won't get down to the ones that are on the bottom. So that's the only reason why you do it. And you don't get to do it until they're pretty mature. You know what I mean? So. I never, this is a story, true story. I, ne I didn't clip my roots and it strangled my pump. It was day like 364, right? So you have a one year warranty and I called Tara Garden. I'm like, oh, uh, my pump is broken. They didn't ask me. They just sent me a new pump. Um, truth be told, it was my fault because I did not clip my roots for a year. I did not know to clip my, for a year, and it just strangled the pump. <laughs> so clip your roots. It's pretty simple. Really, really simple. So I'm, I am the person that just was zero knowledge. When they say that any, you know, anybody can grow, it appears as though Cece and I are the anybody's. <laughs> so <laughs> that can grow. All right, y'all, any other questions? Um, my Facebook name is Chrissy Anderson. Who said that? Um, oh, oh, okay, You're, okay. Because some people I know are on here for me. So I will find you. And then, um, yes, yeah, so Chrissy, I will find you on Facebook. And uh, any other questions or anything? I would say this, again, whoever invited you here, that is your person <laughs> to to contact or if you're wanting to order the tower, that's the one that will facilitate that for you um, and add you to the Facebook groups and make sure you have that recipe book, cookbook. And just once you order, you're a part of the community and our community really is about healthy living in every way. We grow, we um, take our fruits and vegetables in capsules, a lot of us, some of us don't, but we're about just getting 
healthy all in all and growing is one of them growing your own produce is one of the ways so um any other questions anything else before i go before we go thank you for all of our guests for for cc for showing because she's like i just started i'm like your story is very valuable because people that haven't started need to know what it's like to start <laughs> so um, i'm writing all this down before i close i gotta I, i'm looking i'm writing names down because i see y'all are giving me your name so, so i can find you and i'll go friend you guys uh LaShawn, where'd your name go i thought it was oh chrissy chrissy okay chrissy aha uh -huh. all right everybody thank yeah. you everybody for sharing i learned a lot today and i got more excited i want to be yeah. like elizabeth's tower yeah and, and we i know you'll do it we're here to help you we thank are you. and we have there'll be different different um growers will have on um next month as well because you get different different information from different people and thank you debbie for hopping on yeah yeah because you're in florida but you were in illinois and what it what it reminded I me learned a that lot we we learned a lot and i want to make sure that we have growers from other parts of the the u.s because that is a great great perspective so that's something that i want to make sure that i have and debbie we do do this every second saturday saturday of the month you're welcome to invite in and share. And I just sent you a friend request, Debbie. <laughs> awesome. And Debbie, are you still in a in in the valley? She's in Florida now. Yeah, right? I used to be in Stillman Valley in northern Illinois. Um, I still have a house there, and now I, since the quarantine, I've been down in Florida. And I oh, so you daughter. so you still live in Illinois? Yeah, I still have house. My kids, my kids are up there, and they're growing the indoor one, the home version up there. Oh, so you're stuck in Florida, quote unquote. So you, oh, I see. Okay. Florida. Got it. Got it. So she's, um, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Yes. Because Debbie is in Illinois and, um, and she knows Illinois stuff. And then again, the, the, the Facebook group, once you become a tower garden family member, the, the group has 20, there are 30,000 growers from across the U.S. And so whenever you are in wherever you're, wherever you are, if you say, I'm from Illinois, or I'm from wherever, someone will say, oh, yes, I'm from that place, too. And then they'll engage you that way. So that's really cool. All right, y'all. Hey, okay, guys. Uh, one more, one more thing. Thank you, guys. One more thing. Yes. Who has a question? I just want to say one more thing. Because... Yes. Um, when you're on those Tower Garden sites, you can use the um, search bar and um, put your question in there, and you might somebody maybe already answered it for you. Oh, and it'll pop okay. up. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Okay. Well, all of you that are here again, that, that joined us, thank you. Um, contact the person that invited you here. They'll get you started with your growing, and um, bring you into the 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 growing family. We're we're cool people, I think. <laughs> Bye. All right. Cool. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Robin. You're this welcome. Was fun. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. All of this. Take care. Right. You want to stop the cloud recording? Did I record a little?